Hi everyone, Yegi here. Welcome back to Life of Yegi. We have that princess girl here known as Sarah. We're excited to have her and we're gonna give her some lashes. Have you ever had lashes before? Only the ones that grow out of the face. <laughs> I, I, you know, I use like stick-ons and mascara, but I've never had extensions. Oh wow, so you've never ever had eyelash extensions. No, I'm really excited. Okay, I'm excited for you. Usually people, their first time, they have a very nice reaction. Don't know what to expect, so I'm excited to do some lashes on you. So what type of lashes or what type of look are you are you looking to achieve with eyelash extensions? Well, I'm a cosplayer and I'm about to be for Burning Man, so I want my eyelashes to be like pow, like crazy huge. Okay, so huge volume lashes. You got it. <laughs> Ready? Ta -da! Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> You like it? Yes, I love it. You want anything different? No, they're perfect. And like, I love it because like when I wear like false lashes, like it only goes like there, and this goes like way. In. <laughs> oh, they're awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. I just had my lashes done and they are pow and <laughs> then some just like I wanted. That's right. <laughs> we don't really care that much about the lashes at the moment. We want to know who Sarah is. So tell us who Sarah is. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah. Um, let's see, uh, I grew up in New York City and I used to go to theater all the time and I think that kind of got me into entertainment and wanting to work somewhere in entertainment. So I went to college, I went to Northwestern University, and then once I graduated, I moved straight out here because I want to write for television, which I'm not doing yet, but my journey out here has been really interesting. I'm a cosplayer, and I do pinup modeling, and I'm currently writing for an app game, and I write all sorts of original content for, um, we do cosplay, performance art, and storytelling. Wow, that's wonderful. That sounds very exciting and fun. It's fun yeah. <laughs> does it feel like work at all? <laughs> that does not feel like work, I and mean, we don't really necessarily get paid at this stage, but we get flown out to like conventions and we perform at conventions and get put up, so we kind of get like pre vacations for what we do, which is nice too. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> So I remember you mentioning Disney Band while we are doing your lashes. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Uh, well, right now I am Disney bounding, and if you've never heard of Disney bound, it's basically wearing just normal clothes that you can wear anywhere. I went shopping in this today, uh, but it's an outfit that's inspired by a Disney character. So I'm Alice today, so I've got my blue skirt oh. and a blue base, and then the white um, little uh, shirt kind of indicates her apron because it's not a costume, so it's not an apron fit. Ah. And Very I've got creative. And Alice <laughs> earrings on too. Very creative. I love that. Yeah. And um, I, there's actually a, a documentary focused on me uh, that's almost done being filmed right now about Disney Bound and the Disney fan community in general. So. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm really excited for people to see it. It's amazing. When does it come out? You know, I don't know. They just took us to Disneyland to get some like B-roll of just mm -hmm. you know me and my best friend having fun. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of in the like major editing stage right now. And then I guess once it's like totally wrapped up, they'll start shopping around to festivals. Oh, amazing. So you'll definitely, people, follow her so you can stay tuned on what's going to come about the Disney Bound. So you also mentioned the cartoon about you. I mean, that's, that's like a dream come true. Can it's, you tell us more about that? Okay, it's seriously like above and beyond Disney Bucket So who are you? So <laughs> How are you show. getting these? <laughs> show on Disney XD called Milo Murphy's Law and it's created by uh, Dan Povenmire and Swampy Marsh who created Phineas and Ferb, mm -hmm. which I was a big fan of when it was on and I- Yeah, I remember them. Yeah, I had like met them um, from just working in their building and we became friends and they knew how much I loved the show and they also know how much I love Doctor Who. So when they created this new show, which uh, stars Weird Al Yankovic mm -hmm. as Milo, his older sister, Sarah, is named mm -hmm. after me, based on me, styled after me. and. That's they described her to me, they're like, yeah, she's a blonde girl who loves like Doctor Who, but not like actually Doctor Who, because in that world it's, it's a different show. But mm -hmm. so yeah, so there's actually a Disney an official Disney character based not on Not many me. people can say that. That's no. just definitely something really cool it's about you. It's so <laughs> surreal. People are like, Do you get paid for that? I'm like, no, but I don't need to. That's like the <laughs> coolest thing ever. I'm gonna live on beyond me. <laughs> if it's yours, Mike, it's sad. It's me. <laughs> I know you've been, you're working on a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean the biggest thing that I do right now is um, my best friend and I we we call ourselves the adventure effect when we're together. 
we perform at conventions, we do interactive storytelling and performance art, we do Alice and Hatter, but we come with a whole tea set and tea, and people come and they say, oh, can I take your picture? And we say, please join us for a cup of tea, and we don't oh, draw wow. character. <laughs> people, people get to come and play with us. That's awesome. So is there something that you got in trouble for the most when you were young? Probably for not cleaning my room. <laughs> I'm not a tidy person, like even now. <laughs> Just like your stuff everywhere. It's just yeah, I'm one of those people where like if I don't if it doesn't have a place to be, I have to be able to see it. So it's just all it would be spread out. So you know where your stuff are. You could you can find the things you need. Yeah, unless somebody comes in like tries to organize and then like I don't know where it is. If there is something dangerous you can do with no risk, what would it be? I have always wanted to fly, so I would probably just be like jumping off really tall things if there was like no risk involved. Just land on your feet. Yeah, like let's just go. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. If you had to leave the country, where, where would you choose to live? I think probably London. It's my favorite city. There's theater. It's just, it's a wonderful place and they've got great public transportation, which, you know, coming from LA, I'm like, give me that underground. How about the weather? Do you like the cold? I'm not <laughs> about the weather, but you do get to wear cute like winter coats and stuff, so you, there's not outside. Too, yeah. So now that you've lived both in the East Coast and the West Coast, which one would you prefer and why? <laughs> well, I guess I have to say West Coast because I'm here by choice and I refuse to leave. But, you know, I, I do miss things about New York, like I miss pizza, I miss bagels, mm -hmm. and I miss the subway. What was your favorite movie for when you were young and why? I think it was probably Sleeping Beauty, the Disney Sleeping Beauty, and I just, I love everything about that movie. I love the music, the color palette, the characters, there's a dragon. <laughs> Do you ever dress up as, um... Yeah, all the time. Um, I do Disney bands with Briar, of Briar Rose, like Aurora before she realizes she's a princess. Um, but she's really easy to do, she's just like gray, tan, and black. Mm -hmm. And I actually am cosplaying her, I did it for D23 and I'm bringing it to Brain Man. Oh wow, okay. Trying that wig on was like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm a princess. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so if there was a decade that you could be part of, which one would it be and why? I want to say like the late 60s, early 70s, like the Woodstock era, because I definitely am, like, I have an inner hippie and I'm going to go like, let that loose at Burning Man, <laughs> but it would have been really cool to really be there. Yeah. Definitely. So is there a weakness that you have or do you have any challenges going on in your life at the moment that you're working on? Oh yeah, my, my partnership with my best friend like has brought to light a lot of my personality traits that aren't necessarily flattering. <laughs> so I'm working really hard to learn like to communicate better with him because he says that I don't listen. And I don't think it's that I don't listen so much as I listen and absorb information differently than he does. So I'm trying to learn to hear like all of what he's saying rather than starting to compose like a response mid-sentence. Mm -hmm. No, definitely that's a that's a hard thing to learn because I feel like also a lot of people with really strong personalities or um, tend to want to help by responding too quickly yes. instead of listening and I do that all the time. If somebody's even telling me something and maybe they just want to talk in events but I'll just go jump in there real quick and try to help them and give them advice I'm instead of why. listening and being like, okay, you know, and sometimes like that's all people need for you to fully yeah. listen and not listen to respond. Um, yeah. I feel like it's like because I'm a New Yorker and that's like how we communicate. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, and you're just like constantly like going back and forth and that's not, that's not how everybody communicates. Yeah, definitely hard to learn to communicate differently with different people. Where do you see yourself in 10, 20 years from now? I mean, my like big reach for the stars goal would be to like basically be doing John Lasseter's job, like running Disney creative side. I love Disney. <laughs> Same, and it's like my, it's so much of my life and I feel like I really know the company and could really like be that person. Have you tried applying for Disney? Yeah, I, I worked oh. at, at Disney for a little bit and now I'm kind of working my way up like separate from them and hoping to go back eventually. That's great, good luck on that. <laughs> So where can people find you? <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, I'm that princess girl. And on Facebook, you can find The Adventure Effect. And we'll go ahead and link all of that below. Check her out and go on adventures with her. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We're so excited to get to know Sarah. So go ahead and please, please like us, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do, support. We love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>